Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. Today we are making a buttered chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and start with cutting up my thighs. You can wash or not wash your chicken. I don't care. I'm not even gonna get into that debate. <laughs> Cut up your chicken into little pieces. I'm um, kind of like this size right here. Don't overthink it. It can be tiny, it can be a big piece of chicken. It's not a big deal. Next, I'm adding in my garlic and ginger and pepper and a little bit of salt, and I'm just gonna grind this down. You can put it in a blender. Uh, we just wanna get it to a paste, so I'm just gonna use this and crush it down until I get just a very thick paste. After you're done, your paste should look like this. Very thick. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that into the chicken along with one cup of Chobani yogurt. Just make sure that it is plain yogurt, y'all. Do not be putting blueberries and cherries in that butter chicken. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm adding a little bit of seasonings. We are gonna add more seasonings into the sauce. But for now, we're just putting it into the chicken just so that it can cook along with some lemon juice. Go ahead and give it a good mix and put this onto a pan and let that cook in the oven at between 350, 365 until it's nice and brown. Next, I'm just gonna cut up some onion, very, very small pieces and a little bit of garlic as well. Once you have those onions and garlic cut up, go ahead and heat up your pan and pour in a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil as well. Once your butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in one cinnamon stick, some cloves, and one star anise. I'm just gonna give it a good toss, make sure all those flavors are soaked into the butter and um, oil. <laughs> go ahead and add in your garlic that we cut up and give it a good toss. Just try to wash the garlic and don't burn it. Remember that garlic does burn pretty easily. If you do, like I did this one time, just go ahead and ignore that. And go ahead and pour in your onions. Give it a good toss. Let those flavors get in there and add in some tomato paste. Cook the, the tomato paste down. It's very thick, so it's going to look like it's not working at first. But just give it a second. Let it cook. Then as you can see, I'm watching closely to the um, cloves and the cinnamon stick um, just to make sure that it doesn't get all lost in my food. I mean, if you want to, it's no big deal, but I know if you have like kids or your teeth, maybe not want to bite into a clove. So I'm just keeping it in the sauce, but keeping it to the side so I can easily take it out when I need to. Go ahead and add in one can of crushed tomatoes or you can crush a tomato. I did not have a can, so I had to crush up my tomatoes myself. Either or is fine, I've done both. Now I'm just going to add in some more seasonings and let that cook down as well. And that's the best part because that means we're almost done is the coconut milk. Go ahead and give that a good toss. Again, I'm using this canned coconut milk so it's going to look like it's not coming together. Cook it down. Keep cooking it down. Have faith. Believe in your butter, okay? And watch this. Watch when I tell you it's going to be bomb. And look at that beautiful butter chicken. This is the same butter chicken that was looking kind of crazy a few seconds ago. And look at it. I am adding a little bit more sea salt. Of course, you do want to keep testing this throughout the way just to see if it's seasoned enough for you. But don't forget, we are adding in chicken that was seasoned. So add all that in there and give it a good mix one more time. And let the butter chicken really soak into the chicken. I like to sit it on low just for a little bit. And add in some cilantro. I am cilantro crazy, so you can put Put in as much as you want but this is how much i put in it because i'm obsessed after i tested it i did add just a little bit more salt give a little extra oomph let that sit again in that pan on low on low 
for a little bit and there you have it make sure you cook you some rice with that and if you want to get some garlic naan you can i didn't have the ingredients to make any so i'm just gonna eat me my butter chicken with some rice and there you have it guys thanks for watching guys be sure to like comment subscribe share and tell me how your butter chicken came out